Joe Schmidt has recently announced his Wallaby side to take on the Welsh, and there are a lot of young players getting their opportunities in this contest. Same can be said about Wales, who have had one warm-up game that was up against the South Africans. Didn't quite go to plan, but a very good first half from this Welsh side. But looking through at the lineups, we will start with Australia, seeing as they are the home side in the front row. It is James Slipper, Matt Faisler, and Taniella Tupo. No debuts there. A lot of experience under the head of Slipper. Matt Faisler having a sensational season with the Reds being able to score close to double figures when it came to the tries. In the locking duo, they have got Jeremy Williams at number four. He is making his Wallabies debut. And then Lucan Salakaya Lotto will take on that number five spot. In the loose forward trio, number six, it is the captain, Liam Wright. A big opportunity for him to cement himself as that six. And also, perhaps as the Wallabies captain of the future, number seven, Fraser McWright. He's always great in a breakdown, looking for those steals and trying to put the opposition under pressure, and then number eight, they have got Rob Valentini, who had a good season for the Brumbies, we want to continue that at international level, looking through the back line, Jake Gordon gets the start at nine, with Noah Lulisio as the 10, so a combination that we haven't really seen too much of, mainly because both of them have been regarded as either the second or third choice in the past, but now a massive chance to cement themselves and at that start inside, Filippo Dalgunu moves back out to the left wing. For the Rebels in Super Rugby Pacific, he was mainly playing in that number 13 jersey in the midfield. It is Hunter Baisami alongside Josh Fluke, who was another debutant for the Australians. Andrew Calloway out on the right wing, who was mainly playing fullback for the Super Rugby Pacific season. And then Tom Wright at number 15. To close out what is a strong Wallabies side here looking through at the bench it is Billy Pollard, Isaac Kailia who does make his debut and Alan Alala Toa as the number 18, Angus Blythe on debut at 19, Charlie Kale on debut at number 20, Tate McDermott not on debut but it is good to split that up a little bit have an experienced head off the bench of course McDermott always loves getting into the action putting his head down and trying his best to make a change late in the game number 22 Tom Liner on debut, and Dylan Peach, number 23, you guessed it, he's also on debut. Like I said, a huge amount of debutants. I think it's the most in 44 years in terms of debutants in a single match for the Australians. So, Joe Schmidt certainly changing things up compared to what we saw under Eddie Jones. But looking through at this Welsh side, now they have gone with quite a few young players in their side also. But the difference is, they've had one to three caps for a majority of these guys, and also a few experienced heads alongside the younger players in the front row, Gareth Thomas, Dewey Lake, and Archie Griffin, who only has the one cap, he does play for Bath in the Gallagher Premiership, Christ Chinza, he's only got 10 caps, but that man has the potential to get to 50, he's a bright talent, he'll certainly be an X-Factor player for the Welsh. In this game, number five, they have gone with Daft Jenkins. 17 caps, actually plays alongside Christ Chinza at the Exeter Chiefs. In the loose forward trio, Tame Plumtree, Tommy Reffle, and Aaron Wainwright. This will be his 50th game. So a massive congratulations to that man. And that actually makes him the most experienced forward for the Welsh in this contest in terms of the starting lineup by an extra 18 caps. The next highest is actually Gareth Thomas with 31. The next highest after that, only the 18. But looking through at the back line, Alice Bevan. When you talk about a lack of caps, you've got to look at that man. He's only got the one that was up against South Africa in the warm-up game. Last week, number 10, Ben Thomas. He's got two. Rio Dyer out on that left wing. He is going to be at number 11 in the midfield. It is Mason Grady and then also Owen Watkin as the man. On the outside, number 14 on debut, it is going to be Josh Hathaway. And then at number 15, Liam Williams with his 90 caps to add that experience into this Welsh side. Now, I should mention, having a lack of experience isn't always a bad thing. And I feel like both of these sides will learn that heading forward. Because at the end of the day, yes, experience is great and it can get you a long way. But eventually... Those players are going to retire. We've seen that for the Welsh. Dan Bigger is gone. Alan Wynne-Jones, he is gone. There are guys that had an acre of experience that have now made way for these younger guys to make their way into the team. And everyone's got to start somewhere. And sometimes based off form, some of these guys 
can be extremely dangerous. Looking through at the bench, Evan Lloyd, he is there at number 16. Number 17, Kemsley Mathias, and number 18, Harry O'Connor. I believe very similar to what they had in that first match up against the South Africans. Corey Hill adding a bit of experience off the bench with 32 caps. We're just going to use that word as much as we can. Number 20, James Botham. And then also in the back replacements, Kieran Hardy, 21. Sam Costello, number 22. And number 23, Nick Tompkins. Little bit surprising that he isn't starting in this contest just because of the way that he does normally play at international level. One of the stronger players for the Welsh, I've felt, over the last couple of years. But instead, they've decided to give him that chance off the reserves bench, try and add that impact later on. And at the contest for this one, it is going to be kicking off at 9.45pm New Zealand time. It is happening in Australia, and it should be an epic way to start this two-match series. We are going to be doing the commentary on the channel as well, so be sure to check that out. But thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Do let me know what you think of the lineups as well in the comments. I will see you all for the next one.